Welcome. In this video, we're going to explore an infinite series. Namely, we're going to just find the sequence of partial sums for the first few terms. And we're going to use that information to make a guess at whether this series converges or diverges. Okay, so our first partial sum, S1, is just the finite sum from k equals 1 to 1 of negative 1 to the k minus 1 power over k factorial. So that's equal negative 1 to the 1 minus 1 over 1 factorial. All I've done is replace all the k's with 1. And this simply works out to be just 1. Okay, so let's find S2, the second partial sum. Well, this is the finite sum beginning from k equals 1 and ending at k equals 2 of negative 1 to the k minus 1 power over k factorial. So we could do this work again here, but I know this first partial sum is going to be 1. So I'm just going to write this as 1 plus, again, this 1 comes from here. And now I'm going to go ahead and put a 2 in for each k. So this is negative 1 to the 2 minus 1 power over 2 factorial. And this will work out to be 1 half. Pause your video and go ahead and work out S3, S4, and S5. That is, this is the first three sums. This is our first four terms summed together and our first five terms summed together. All right, as you notice, I went ahead and filled in just the answers with none of the inter, um, intermediate work. So I'm going to write these down as decimals now just to see what's happening. Well, this one we know is 1 half is 0.5. Here we have 0.6 repeating forever. The fourth partial sum is 0.625. And the fifth partial sum is 0.6 and then 3 repeating forever. So now that we have all these decimal approximations, I can see that I go to 1 and down to 1 half, and then I go above 1 half to this value, and then back down, and then back up. So our series is doing something like this. That is when we have k equals 1, we're at 1, then at 1 half, then over here around 2 thirds, and then we get a little smaller and a little bigger. So as you can see, this series seems to be going back and forth on a particular number. Um, and my graph is probably a little off. I imagine these should be a bit higher up. Anywho, that aside, if I had to guess, that number is somewhere around 0.63. Now, we're not going to go over the specific test that would be used to find this value exactly. We're just looking at the sequence of partial sums and making a guess as to whether or not this converges. So let's go ahead and write down our findings. I hope you found this video helpful.